Okay, I have already logged in to my Google account. So I have my Google account uh, logged in and I am launching my Google Doc. Right. This is a blank document at this current moment. And of course, normally we will just start typing over here. Okay, uh, this is my first title for instance. So sorry, my cap lock is on. All right. And so forth. All right. But uh, what I would like to do today is to go beyond just the normal text because many of the time you will need to create a table of content. So let's just say I call this title A and right, I'll create a few more. Let's say title B and title C. Right. Now, normally, okay when you have all this uh, we will manually highlight it uh, use our bold italic or even our font size to make it looks like a title then uh, create the table of content but that is very troublesome uh, especially when you're doing your dissertation or your project okay so another easy way to do this is basically just make use of the style that you have over here see that so there's a few of them if you do not want the large style you can actually go for what right, the headings right and uh, okay let me just take the C type the C and apply headings over here right. of course in first glance it will look like they are just standard styles okay. but uh, it can be actually more than that just let me go back to my the beginning right. over here I can actually insert okay sorry a table of content down here see this right. so I can insert a table of content right. of course usually I will like it with a uh, page number and you will find that the table of content extract all these titles and of course it add in the page if you have different level of uh, style like for instance my title C what is actually indented all right just below my title B so it's something like a subheading of some sort right. and let's assume I change the title A Now, of course, after making the change, you will realize that this particular uh, table of content doesn't actually change. Okay, so you can see title one and title eight. That is because I need to update it using this small little icon over here. Right, so now it updates as title one. The more important reason to use this is, let's say if I in add a page break, Okay, so let's say I create a page break right, over here right, of course my title B is now is on the second page right, and I will definitely still need to update this table of content it update the page number for you see that it updates the page number for you and this actually makes it a lot easier to work with your projects create uh, add in additional notes or additional pages additional chapter or section inside your projects your assignment or your dissertation especially if you have a very large documents that you're working on and right? this really save a lot of time 